Welcome back to Hogtown Homestead. Like, share, and subscribe if you feel so led. On today's video, <clears throat> I'm going to go down to the lower pasture and retrieve the old pig shelter from down there and make some repairs on it and get these pigs ready for rotating on pasture. Just to give you all an idea of what we gotta do, you gotta, I'm taking the truck down through this tall grass to that shelter there. And you probably can't see it or tell, but this grass is about up to my chest. So it's gonna be tons of fun getting down there. It'll be tons of fun coming back. Probably get to use some four wheel drive today. And that's always fun to do that. So here we go. So there it is. Hopefully we can get a couple more inches in there so we can close the tailgate. Yeah, I think that'll work. And it did. So now we're going back up to the house. I'm gonna fix this thing, build a new paddock for the pigs and get them rotating on pasture. Looks like there's just one screw that came loose on that thing. So it's that far strut there or stud, whatever you want to call it. It's that far support, that's what we'll call it. And all I need to do is flip it up on its back like so. And we're gonna put more screws in it. And this project could be done.
Seems pretty solid to me. <laughs> Moving this thing scared that pig. And that's why we're gonna introduce them to it slowly so they get used to it and they don't do that when I am um, moving them around on pasture. So that's what's happening. It is the next morning since I moved the shelter up from the lower pasture. I was gonna move the pigs that way, uh, but I decided that we're gonna change that route a little bit. We're gonna bring them back this way. They really enjoyed the tall grass that was in this paddock. And I think that they'll enjoy the tall grass over there. But first things first, I'm gonna put you in your usual seat, which is the ladder. And I gotta weed whack some of the uh, tall grass to get the fence, to, to ensure that the fence doesn't stay grounded out all the time. So, here we go. Now comes the tricky part. Now I'm going to move their shelter over here. And once I've moved their shelter into this location, I'm going to hopefully trap them in the hog panel portion of their run. And then get everything squared away and then run them over to this spot with fresh water, new food, and new grass. So here comes the tricky part. Hopefully this is a lot less comical than I am envisioning it. Gosh, here we go, here we go. Yep, they hear it, they hear it. Cue the music! Yeah. Alright, come on. Walk that way, Okay, it is set up. It is not symmetrical. 
the pigs did get out. I must've got a phone call or something while we were recording that part because the phone turned off during the most important part, which was wrangling pigs. But it turned off at a convenient point because I was yelling at Connor in April, uh, even though I should have been yelling at pigs or speaking calmly anyways. So I gotta do the hammer trick and, and pound these into the ground. Gotta hook up the battery to it before Look, they start the going in the dog right. before they start chewing on it, and we'll be good to go. <clears throat> what do you want, rebellious one? Look what the pigs found. Hmm. Look what they found. I don't know what that is, but they found it. It's like it. the top to a broom handle. I don't so know. that's trash. Look at the pigs. Look at the Civil War tanks, and we're keeping that. All right, next is the battery. And we're that's going to do it for today's episode here on Hogtown Homestead. Once again, like, share, and subscribe if you feel so led. We'll see you next time. Enjoy the rest of your day.